Hi everyone, Jane's Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, now a lot has been happening lately. Now I saw online that there's a video of a girl using Gorilla Glue on her hair and it didn't quite work out the way she thought it would. So it got me thinking, I wonder what Gorilla Glue would be like on synthetic hair. So I'm thinking about this and I thought I'm just gonna experiment with this with you guys on camera, okay? I'm gonna replace my finishing hairspray with Gorilla Glue. And it's not just because I forgot to buy finishing hairspray, okay? As you can clearly see, I got some, but not a whole lot. So we're gonna make this work, okay? Now I have a synthetic wig I bought from Amazon a while ago, and it is a piece of crap. So I figured what better wig to use than for an experiment that I can throw away right away if it doesn't work out. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I bought this off Amazon. This is what they advertised as a Dusty Springfield-esque beehive wig with the cone inside. And this is exactly, this is how it looked when I got it. I steamed it straight already before it was just like frizz. So I had to like run a steamer through it and everything. So I'm gonna use this as my wig and we're gonna turn it into a helmet. And hopefully I can like use it as a weapon and put on like a thing and spin it around and hit people with it afterwards. So I'll find a use for this wig, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna try this wig on. I'll be right back, just for the fun of it, you know? <laughs> All right, this is the wig before I style it, just so you get an idea of what I'm working with here. It's sort of like Garth from Wayne's World with like a bouffant or a bump it in his hair. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, this isn't exactly a wig transformation. It's more of a wig experiment, but you guys like it when I show you what the wig looked like beforehand. So this is, you know, the calm before the storm, okay? Before the tragedy struck. So yeah, just take it all in, folks. Take it all in. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, welcome back. Now it's time to prep our wig block. Now, if I'm gonna be using spray adhesive, I know one thing is for sure, that stuff gets everywhere and it's hard to get out. So I'm gonna protect my wig block first and foremost. I probably should have been doing this anyway, but you know what? I live life on the wild side, okay? So it's gonna do that and just protect the front of it because that's really where it's gonna be fitting. Yes, plastic wrap. Perfect for wig blocks or doing mummifications. Okay. It's like doing arts and crafts. Oh my God. Now, I've been playing around with the idea of maybe doing some more puppet stuff on the channel. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know. Because I have a bunch of stuff I wanted to do with puppetry that I haven't really got a chance to do. But I'm finding a few pockets of free time. So if you want to see it, let me know. Okay, let's throw this wig on there. That'll be good enough. It's not really going to go a whole lot of ways. And there's not a whole lot I can do this wig anyway. It's kind of short. So let's put it on. Okay, that should be good. Now, let's get started. Now, first things first, I'm gonna tease up this wig real, real big so I can spray it with the finishing spray. So I'm gonna start by doing that. Whew. In the meantime, how have you guys been? Oh my God. I have to say, I'm enjoying the staying at home and just watching movies and stuff. Sat at home, had a cake, ate pozole, watched a documentary, watched movies. I watched that one movie. Um. What the hell did I watch? Productive Young Woman. Promising Young Woman, that's the movie. I watched that one. And it was an experience, I'll say that much. Not a whole lot happened in it as far as like the trailer showed. Bit misleading. I give it a gander though. The writing was good. Now I have to say when I bought this wig, I got it as an experiment because I was trying to see how they made these wigs. It's similar to the Elvira wig, only in blonde and shorter. Because I was gonna do a Ronnie Spector wig in blonde for Trixie. She requested one from me, so I wanted to like, see how I could like make it happen. And this is the only wig I know of that has that same shape. Like they don't make that Elvira wig in blonde. So I wanted to see how they made it. And upon further inspection, I saw it when I got it. It was a piece of crap. And I spent like a good solid hour steaming it straight to get something workable out of it. And now it's not so bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not so bad. It's very much like a Miss Fousey kind of territory. If you're a Chicagoan, you know who that is. <laughs> Whew, hurting my arm already. Let's do this. Pack her up. Whew, looking at this hairstyle, it's definitely channeling like Dusty Springfield. Oh my God, I love Dusty Springfield. As you all may very well know, I'm obsessed with like girl group music and the girl group sound. And Dusty Springfield was an early contributor to that. She's more blue eyed soul, if anything. But her early, early works, like a girl named Dusty and all that stuff, she did a lot of girl group covers by like the Shirelles. Well, basically everything, girl. Like I've noticed this <laughs> as I gotten older. I don't think Dusty Springfield's had an original song until like the 80s. Almost all of the stuff she's known for are all covers. I was shocked. Like 
Wishing and Hoping was originally a Dionne Warwick song. Like, girl, it's like, what songs did you sing, Dusty? Good Lord. But no, I love Dusty Springfield and I loved her hair and aesthetics especially. And the fact that she was kind of queer, like known bisexual, fabulous, in the 60s and 70s when it was very, very taboo. Fantastic. Unabashed, by the way, too. Like, she didn't care who knew. Love that. Yeah, there we go. She's teasing up to like a Lady Bunny kind of territory, but we need a lot more than that. Just keep packing away. Because I want to make sure it's enough to where it's solid enough where I can spray it with this Gorilla Glue and hopefully it just solidifies. It's like a helmet. You know, full on 1960s beehive, ready to go to war, or play football hair. Now, I was doing a little deep diving into the story to see what like the follow up was with that girl with Gorilla Glue. And what I, from what I saw, she ended up going to like the hospital to see what they could do. I didn't really follow up with it after that. I hope she's okay. Hope everything's worked out. Now, I used to use spray adhesive a lot when I used to do puppetry. Like that kind of got me thinking about it, looking at it. It's like, that's how you attach like skin to a puppet. If you're doing foam, you use spray adhesive. And like, you had to be real careful about it because like anything you got on the fabric, it like picked up dirt like no other. And it looks like you have like a poop stain on your puppet's arm. Ruins a whole project. Okay, I got one side done. I can't spray anything yet because I want to save it for the hairspray. I want to replace the hairspray with the Gorilla Glue, so I'm gonna try to get it in much of a shape as I want before I start going through with like, you know, the final spray. Ugh, this hard blonde beehive. It's like a bad leader of the pack wig. Look at, not quite a, Dusty Springfield, more like a lower budget than that, like an Ellie Greenwich kind of hairstyle. <laughs> I don't see this wig so much anymore. They used to have it in costume shops all the time. You'd see this like Dusty Springfield wig that just sit there for years. Like Lacey Costume Company, 1960s Blonde Beehive. They had a black version too. That was supposed to be like for Diana Ross and the Supremes, but you look more like Aunt Barbara when you wear it. Oh, Aunt Barbara, she's fabulous. Look her up. Tupperware drag queen icon. <sighs> okay. We are nearing time for hairspray. Oh my goodness, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna tease the rest off camera. I'll be right back. <laughs> <sighs> okay, moment of truth. It's time we have our Gorilla Glue spray. Now, I'm gonna shake it up real good. And if I learned anything from doing puppets, when you do Gorilla Glue, you have to really press down on it, otherwise you're gonna get like Gorilla Glue boogers all over the place, okay? And shield yourself, all right? Cause it's gonna get everywhere. <sighs> ah, I don't miss that, oh my God. Hello darkness, my old friend. That smell, ugh, okay, yeah, there we go. So far, it's looking all right. I didn't get any boogers, so that's good. Now I'm just gonna start shaping it because I know with glue, you can have a small window of time to get it exactly where you want it. I'm lucky this is gonna turn out like a completely solid looking beehive that I can probably shape into something. But do not try this at home, folks. <laughs> Especially on your head, oh my God. Now this is synthetic fibers. I can't speak to what human hair will do. I probably wouldn't do it. Synthetic fiber is basically plastic anyway, okay? It is plastic. For the most part, so I'm basically doing arts and crafts right now. <laughs> High stakes arts and crafts because girl, a wig, you can't come back from if you screw it up. Back, I got disposable comb. I'm gonna try and lay that. Now this isn't too wild an idea now that I'm really thinking about it because like I've heard like tall tales like back in the day. They used to use like starch and stuff like that on wigs, like synthetic wigs to get them into like permanent styles, like for productions or art pieces and stuff like that. So like, I imagine maybe spray adhesive isn't that wild an idea to use. It's just, you know, not something we hear about, you know, in everyday talk. I'm certain there's some theater production back in the day or like some fashion house that did this to get the wigs to look a certain way. Now I have to say, right away I've noticed the a stark difference in using hairspray as opposed to using like a glue spray like a literal glue spray. The window of opportunity to like fix this hair is very, very small, but I am noticing like there is some sharpness happening here that you can't really get with a regular hairspray. Like it's sticking straight where I want it to go. 
And as long as I use my time wisely, I feel like it's gonna come out really cute. And definitely it's gonna keep the hair together. We'll see though. It all could come crashing down in front of me. Also, I've noticed there is like a film on top of the wig that's kind of noticeable from very, very up close. I can't speak to what it's like on camera. I'll have to wait till I edit it, but still, it's very noticeable in person as close as I am, but we'll see. All right, still a bit more. I'm also trying to be really, really careful not to glue the wig to the head. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So far, she's looking really, really sharp though. Oh my God. My strays have never been this smoothed down. My goodness. Now, feeling it, it's a little tacky. Now, I'm hoping it'll dry down and not be so tacky. That's one thing I do remember about spray adhesives. Like, no matter what you did, there was always like a stickiness to it that you could not get rid of. Okay, now I'm gonna do something a little unorthodox. I'm gonna warm my hands up. And where I put the glue under here, you get some heat going. I'm gonna hold it there just to try and get it to stay in a shape. I probably could do this also with a blow dryer, but I don't wanna heat this glue right next to my face. All the chemicals and stuff, no bueno, it's not happening. I am not doing that. I am not putting my lungs in jeopardy for you folks. Okay, like I have to say like, She's looking pretty cute. I'm not even gonna lie. Like my hands and my legs are sticky now. And I have to like go through it with a lot of glue gone. But worth it. This is actually looking kind of cute. I am actually impressed. Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. I'll be right back with the final results. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. And you guys, I'm not even gonna lie. This is actually kind of cute. Oh my God. <laughs> I kind of surprised myself. This is actually a kind of a cute look. This came out really cute. I probably would wear this wig. I probably will wear this wig again, honestly. Now this wig is cute, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah. Now my hair smells just like cream soda, which is important because it smelled so much like adhesive. Oh my God. Whew. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code JAMES20 or Mansfield for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. And now I'd like to take a moment, a Venmo moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo and I also have some Pepatimonies. <laughs> I would like to thank Tom. Tyler, you didn't do a Venn moment, but you're just so adorable, Tyler, my music man. Thank you for the pizza. <laughs> Sergio, Nev, ooh, like Nev Campbell, that's fabulous, I love that name. I also have some Papalimonies. I have a Papalimony from Kate and Corinna. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the Papalimonies. Now, I have to say, this actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Like, I had my doubts, okay? Because I've worked with this stuff before, like different brands. Like, I've used, like, Elmer's and that one that comes in the big black can that smells like death. And you have to do it all outside, which I probably should have done for this video. But you know what? We, we live and we learn. Definitely use spray adhesives outside or in a well-ventilated room. I can't really do that because I'm in below zero weather right now. But as a finishing spray, that really, really worked. Now, on a blonde wig... It didn't leave as much noticeable foam as I thought it would. I can't speak to any other hair color, like a black or a red or anything like that. You may see like a full film go over it. Like if you use too much Gatsby glue, it starts to gray the wig. That may be the case for, you know, th using this on hair. But on a blonde, this is actually kind of chic. I like this. <laughs> God. And remember, this is synthetic fibers, okay? I did not use this on a human hair wig. Synthetic fibers, okay? So it's basically plastic on plastic, all right? Now, if you like this video, be sure and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. <laughs> Click here and watch it transform a bootleg Violet Tchotchke wig or watch it transform a knockoff Kelly Mantle wig from Amazon. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, um, something, something, empty threat. So click it.